All right, so this is Milo 2022.1, and we've been working on our VR implementation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this uh, let's get, hit this VR button. Um, and we had this before in Milo where you could go into VR mode, but we had no interface. And so what we've done now is added our entire interface. Um, this is actually kind of interesting because a lot of applications will give you kind of a gimmicky VR only sort of interface. And we found it's actually much more useful to work with if we just give you the entire interface just as it, just as it is. Um, and you can interact with that, at least for now. We may add some specialized things in the future, but we found this actually works surprisingly well. So I'm here in VR. I can move around as I like. I can, you know, switch the sky to night, move the sun around, the moon around, um, remix the clouds. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, this is still early access. Um, for instance, these clouds don't render quite properly in both eyes right now, but that's something we're looking to fix, uh, hopefully pretty soon here. And, uh, you may run into a few other issues as well. Um, you can change environments. Uh, we also put in a little file chooser because when you go into the regular file chooser, it, um, it freezes up while you're in VR. It doesn't freeze up, but the screen pauses while the system file menu shows. Um, so here we added a little one that's just the local directory. So you can just um, put the files you want to view in here and switch between those easily if you like. And you can always, of course, just go out and back into the full file chooser if you'd rather uh, browse the rest of the directories. Oops. So that's it. Um, pretty significant step forward in the actual usability of VR and we're excited to do more. So let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next and thanks for watching.